pilot's log, September 1st, 1925. Despite problems with the other two planes, the PN-91 is still on schedule to reach Hawaii by sunset tonight. Expected tailwinds have failed to appear. We are concerned about our fuel consumption, still unable to lean out the mixture. We had radio contact with the USS Doyen, but were unable to make a visual. Readings from the radio direction finder are inconsistent. Sextant sightings, problematic. We are now past the point of no return. It's three years before Lindbergh crosses the Atlantic. U.S. Navy Commander John Rogers has accepted a death-defying mission to be the first aviator to fly from California over 2,500 miles of open ocean to the most isolated islands on Earth, Hawaii. The nation holds its breath as Rogers and his crew attempt the impossible aboard three wood and canvas biplanes. His dramatic endeavor would change aviation forever. My darling Akiko, I miss you more than I can ever tell you. As Rogers prepares for his mission, his unhappy marriage collapses, and in its wake, he meets and falls in love with Akiko, an enchanting Japanese girl. Their ensuing love affair is yet another high-stakes gamble in this story. From the very start, Rogers' attempt electrifies the world, and an anxious public holds its breath as an assortment of troubles plague the endeavor. Meanwhile, in mid-America, a publicity-grabbing stunt involving the world's largest dirigible sends disastrous ripples that ultimately affect the fate of Rogers and his crew. All Hawaii mourns today as the U.S. Navy officially calls off the search for John Rogers and his crew. Lost at sea, Rogers and his intrepid crew battle for their lives as they listen to their own obituaries broadcast around the world. The dramatic aftermath changes aviation forever. Up to now, the dramatic story of one of the greatest heroes of aviation history has been virtually unknown. Author Bill Riddle is a spellbinding storyteller. He has amplified this fascinating, historically-based account with a phenomenal assortment of rare period photographs and actual headlines that further enrich and enhance the reader's experience of this riveting saga. Dead Downwind is a good read of fiction enriched by fact, and facts enlivened by fiction. Available now at bookstores everywhere in Hawaii or online at www.deaddownwindbook.com.